With so many jarred Alfredo sauces in the world, there's bound to be some that are downright gross. Even… Uh, lumpy. Ew. Keep watching for our picks from worst to best. In the battle of jarred Alfredo sauces, this one ranks dead last. At first glance, it seems like an okay option. It's gluten-free, keto-friendly, and made with all-natural ingredients. The steeper price at $7.99 on Sonoma Gourmet's website suggests you're getting something better than the average store-bought sauce. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Reviewers who've tried it firsthand complained of its pungent and sour taste, and that it's thick and goopy in texture. But the real kicker? The flavor is eerily similar to ranch dressing. One possible explanation for why it's so Hidden Valley-esque is the fact that it contains dehydrated vegetable stock, celery, onion, garlic, and carrot. All things which would make for a great veggie tray dip, but not so much for traditional Alfredo. Don't get us wrong, we love ranch dressing and all the myriad ways you can eat it. But ranch dressing on fettuccine? No. It shouldn't be anywhere near noodles if we have anything to say about it. If this were a list about authenticity, then Botticelli would win in a heartbeat. For one, it's actually made in Italy, and two, it uses real Italian Parmesan cheese. But this list is about taste, and we have to take a stance. For all intents and purposes, Botticelli falls flat in just about every way. Besides its unappetizing appearance, this sauce is far from the silky consistency you desire in an Alfredo sauce. It's actually quite gelatinous in texture, almost gravy-like. What makes the consistency even worse is knowing there's not a lot of flavor there. Reviewers complained of an unpleasant aftertaste that lingers in the mouth, which really gives itself away as to whether it's a processed, store-bought sauce or something made from scratch. It also spoils a lot faster than other brands, with just three days to use it after opening. Not ideal if you were hoping to enjoy Chicken Alfredo all week long. At that point, you might as well pick up some cream and a wedge of fresh Parmesan and make it yourself. It'll save you money and taste a lot better, too. Don't get us wrong, there are some killer vegan products out there, and many of them can easily be found at the grocery store. But if you spy Victoria Vegan Original Alfredo Sauce lurking in the sauce aisle, skip it. According to the label, it recreates the cheesy texture by using cashew cream and infusing it with garlic and spices. Mangiamo. This is a common vegan substitute for meals like macaroni and cheese, and it's usually delicious. Seems like it would fool you into thinking it was the real thing, right? Wrong. Not only does it look wrong with its off-putting beige color, but it tastes wrong too. Apparently, the flavor is closer to something like Italian dressing, which despite the piquant notes of herbs and garlic, doesn't resemble anything like the Alfredo sauce we know and love. You'll also need to shake it vigorously since it separates in the fridge, and lumps in a pasta sauce is a huge red flag. So unless you're looking for something different to drizzle on your garden salad, steer clear. The Alfredo sauce from Target's Good & Gather line is an affordable option. For just $1.69 a jar, you can prepare a relatively quick and tasty meal for the whole family. But it shouldn't just be about quantity here. It should also be about quality, and this sauce doesn't seem to have it. According to reviewers on Target's website, the sauce is not a bullseye in terms of taste. It has a diluted, watery texture that's plain at best, and at worst, mimicking the mouthfeel of plastic. It's also lacking that sharp, full-bodied flavor that makes Alfredo sauce so tantalizing. For this reason, it could be decent as long as you dress it up with your own seasonings or toss it with grilled shrimp, vegetables, or chicken. But if you have to add extras in order to make it palatable, then it's not really doing what it's supposed to. It might not be the worst, but being ho-hum shouldn't give it a pass for essentially being a dull cheese sauce. Compared to other brands on the market, you can do better. For something basic, the Alfredo sauce from Newman's Own isn't bad. Unlike some of the ones listed, it isn't thick, gluey, or overly pungent. It has a thinner texture that, while easy to cook off in the pan, borders on runny. Like if you used a canned soup for your pasta. Sauce should be saucy, but we also don't want the noodles simply swimming in it. The flavor is also mild, despite the bold flavors of Parmesan and Romano cheeses. And while that can be good for picky eaters, it might read bland to some. For a quick fix, reviewers on Influencer suggest adding extra cheese or spices to kick it up a notch. Trader Joe's has plenty of praiseworthy products in its arsenal, but one that isn't talked about much is its Alfredo sauce. We're not sure why, because this one's pretty good as far as store-bought goes. 
the flavors of Italian cheese and black pepper really shine through and make a perfect counterpoint to grilled meats like seafood and chicken. It also has fewer preservatives than the average supermarket fare, which adds to the homemade feel many jarred varieties lack. It's not without its faults, however. As fan website Everything Joe's reveals, the sauce is actually quite heavy out of the jar, a turnoff if you're aiming for a silkier, lighter texture when cooking. You can't go wrong with Ragu's classic Alfredo sauce. It hits on the key elements of a cheesy cream sauce, just right thickness, gooey consistency, and bold flavors of Parmesan and Romano that are strong without overpowering the meal. Plus, you can find it in just about any supermarket in the United States. Shoppers from Target not only said it's, quote, yummy and the best there is, but they also shared easy recipe ideas that use it to its full potential. When the inevitable craving for Alfredo hits, you'll be happy to find a jar of this in the pantry. It's a godsend. If you want a sauce dinner party guests won't suspect of being store-bought, look no further than Classico. The brand offers multiple Alfredo sauces fit to please any pasta lover, but it's the four-cheese variety customers flock to again and again. Mixing a flavorful blend of Parmesan, Romano, Asiago, and ricotta cheeses, it's combined with fresh cream and notes of onion and garlic, resulting in an authentic, delicious sauce. The variety of cheeses adds unexpected nuance, and the flavor profile meshes with just about any kind of pasta. You can toss it in mushroom ravioli, gnocchi, and shrimp linguine, all in one week without having to return to the store for more ingredients. Some even use it as a pizza sauce or on their sausages. And not only does it taste less processed than what's normally in a jar, but it's inexpensive to boot. Walmart's website sells the 15-ounce jar for around two bucks, though you can find similar pricing at most major retailers. Cheap, easy, and delicious. What's not to love? Please, Nick, eat some biscotti. I didn't realize you enjoyed eating worms. Who doesn't remember their mom making spaghetti as a kid? In addition to the love cooked into it, chances are high her secret ingredient was also a jar of prego sauce from the pantry. And her famous chicken Alfredo? The exact same thing. It isn't simply nostalgia coloring our view of Prego's homestyle Alfredo sauce. It really is that good. The sauce is described as, quote, silky and smooth, with a rich consistency that avoids the pitfalls other jarred sauces experience time after time. Too gluey, too runny, too stinky, not enough seasoning? Prego is none of the above. Instead, settling on a balanced texture with the right amount of cheese and garlic coming through. In other words, the Goldilocks of jarred Alfredo sauces. Scores of reviews on Prego's website praise the sauce's versatility across dishes, as well as its affordability. Two reasons we've placed it so high on our list. But don't just take our word for it. Grab a jar on your next grocery run and taste it for yourself. You'll see why so many people love it. In our opinion, the gold standard of store-bought sauce is Bertoli's Alfredo sauce with aged Parmesan. A single jar will turn Tuesday night dinner into an indulgent Italian feast. The addition of aged Parmesan, complete with butter and fresh cream, elevates this sauce into something spectacular. It's somehow rich and indulgent while also remaining light to the touch. A tough feat for any cheese sauce. Creamy enough to coat pasta without becoming a heavy congealed mess? That's what you want in an Alfredo sauce, and Bertoli gets it right. Customers all over have called it, quote, smooth and tasteful, and, quote, the best jarred Alfredo sauce due to its ability to make an ordinary weeknight meal restaurant quality on a budget. One pro tip to keep in mind is to go easy on the salt, since the sauce already contains it in addition to the plethora of Italian seasonings that make it so flavorful in the first place. It's the best jarred Alfredo money can buy, and for that, it earns its spot in third place. Little Italy and the Bronx Alfredo sauce comes in second place because it achieves a level of authenticity other sauces can only dream of. Quality ingredients, from the fresh cream and butter to the sharp Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese, lends itself to forming a richly creamy base that will coat your favorite pasta perfectly. You might end up saving money in the long run, since its quality rivals any Alfredo you'd order from a chain restaurant any day of the week. Finally, the time has come. For the best jarred Alfredo sauce on the market, we give the honor to none other than Rayo's Homemade. Out of all the sauces on this list, this Alfredo stands unparalleled for its premium ingredients and taste. You've got the basics covered. Traditional Italian cheeses, bold herbs, and the freshest butter and cream tying it all together. But jam-packed into each jar is a family's culinary legacy. 
The brand was started by the restaurateurs of Rayo's restaurant in New York City in efforts to make their world-famous sauces more accessible to the public. This means every time you buy it from the grocery store, you're receiving restaurant-level quality only without the reservation. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite condiments are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.